after I lost my friend in 2019, there was some car that was coming and it was coming fast and then it crushed her. Early this year, I lost a child in my class through car accident. The child died on the spot. And it was very, very bad. Very, very bad. I'm so sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry. And she was your friend. What do you miss most about her? Everything. Yeah. I mean, we used to like playing, walk together. So I would say talking to her. <laughs> So out here in Kailicha, there was a need to address the road safety issues. So it was important to take stock and see what is needed. And with the help of the FIA Foundation, to work towards getting children safer journeys to schools. As you can see, it's very busy. Um, we've got kids that have been in school all day and are now going home. Before the project came about, there was really nothing to keep them safe. But now we have the road humps, we have the raised crossings. It's been a tremendous effort all round, really bringing all the stakeholders together, bringing in the authorities, bringing in the community stakeholders, the teachers, the parents as well. As far as road safety is concerned, we want to be at the forefront of initiatives and we try and collaborate with the community and find out where their challenges are and how we can address their needs. I took pictures of, of rubbish in the road and houses that are built in pavements because when there are houses that are built in pavement there will be no space for pedestrians to walk. There's a lot of dangerous things like the potholes in the road. So when a car tries to avoid it, it, it may hit you. I feel like a lot of the times adolescents and young people feel unheard. What would you want to happen for you to feel safe, for you to feel protected every time you leave home? I think mostly it's road safety, yeah. Mm. I would say for cars to go slower, more robots, and police do that job actually. For them to be there for us, to support us. With this project, we need to accept and amplify the voices of the young children and the youth. And if we are not going to take cognizance of what they are saying and translating it into action, what kind of future will these young individuals have ahead of them? The campaign work that we do, it's really going to be an opportunity where young people are included and are telling the powers that be to say that these are our experiences. This is how we feel the solutions should be in protecting children as they access their roles when they travel to school. What we really want to see with this project is scaling up. We want to see partners coming in, we want to see the authorities coming in, and what's critical is the investment. We really need to see the investment made here. It will be much better, much, much better if the project can be extended to many parts of Cape Town, especially the dense populated areas, it will make a huge difference. The number of learners who got knocked by cars will go down dramatically.